Good morning everybody, Graeme here from Active Monash. I hope you're all well and coping with our lockdown. Hopefully it won't be for too much longer uh, and then we'll all be back in the gym. Well today I've got a Strong for Life class for you uh, with functional movements, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of core. And a little bit of interest as well. So any of you that have seen my Kitchen Rules or any of those programs, MasterChef, you will have seen that uh, occasionally uh, contestants build a deconstructed something. It might be deconstructed pavlova, deconstructed cheesecake, and today we're doing a deconstructed exercise. I'll hang on to that until we get into the program a little bit, uh, but there's a surprise for you to look forward to. So I'll demonstrate one round of each of the exercises, but please make a note of the exercises and do two or three rounds. If you do three rounds, you're going to have an exercise program that will last you 45 to 50 minutes. So uh, make sure you have a rest between each, each uh, exercise routine, 10 reps of each and three sets of each. So uh, I'm going to assume that you've again done our warm-up and that might be a brisk walk or a jog around the block or some stars in the backyard, some jogging on the spot, just to get you nice and warm. A little bit of sweat, still talk though. Um, and some activation. So the activation we'll do today is a head to toe. I'll do one round with you, but uh, if you could do two rounds of this, that would be sufficient. So to begin with, just some normal head rolls around in a circle. 10 one way and then 10 the other. Nice and slow. And us older folk will have a crunch or a groan happening here, that's normal. And back the other way. Couple more. And we want some shoulder rolls now. So arms by your side, 10 forward. and 10 back the other way. Beautiful day outside, and I did actually try to record this outside, but the wind was too great, and the noise through the microphone, not good at all. Okay, arms out, one palm down, the other up, and let's activate those forearms. About 20 of these, 10 each side. That's about it. And now let's activate the wrist. So clasp your hands together and roll them around. Back the other way. Overs and unders. Waking those wrists up. Motion is good lotion for our joints. So that's why we need to warm up before we put some resistance or some weight on them. Hip rotation, simple one this week. Nice hands on hips and rotate around. About 10 that way, 10 the other. So we've had head rolls, shoulder rolls, corkscrew, wrist activation. Now we've got hip rotation and finally on the balls of your feet, just up and, and just gentle bouncing. So we've had a top to toe uh, activation. Make sure you do this little routine twice. Okay, all right, we're ready to go now. Uh, so our first one is going to be a goblet squat, followed by a split squat, and then a lateral squat. So pick up your drink bottle dumbbell, or your actual dumbbells, or some sort of weight, and you hold it here like so. Why is it called a goblet squat, you ask? Because back in the day, the English invented this exercise, and when they come up, they'd have a drink from the goblet. At least that's what I've been told. I don't know whether that's true or not. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10. Picking up the other weight. And we're now gonna have a split squat. One leg forward, one back, and one, two, 
three, nice straight back. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and swapping sides. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. And the next exercise is a lateral squat. So out to one side and down. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, we've had the goblet squat, split squat, and lateral squat. Ten of each and three sets of each. And now we're going to have part two strength. And it's a shoulder routine. Uh, three exercises. You'll need a kitchen chair for this one. I'm going to use my stability ball. Now I'm going to sit on that. And you sit on a kitchen chair or an outdoor chair, or whatever you've got. And then we'll have a seated arm and press. Uh, we'll do rear deltoids and a front raise. So here we go. Ten of each again. And one, two, Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, put your chair away. And next one, rear deltoids. Now I'll, st I'll stand side on for this one. Hinge at the hip, nearly parallel to the floor, knees slightly bent, and one, two. Control the way, weight on the way down as well as on the way up. Let's have four more. One, two, three, and last one, four. And final set, front raises. One, one, five, and five, another five to go. One, one, two, two. And five, and five. Now there you have it everybody. A seated Arnold press, that's the first one. The second one, uh, rear deltoids. And the third one, front raises. Ten repetitions of each and three sets. Make sure you have a rest and recover between each set. Okay, part three, cardio and agility. Well, as I said earlier, if you've watched my Kitchen Rules or MasterChef, you will have seen that uh, contestants every now and then do a deconstructed something. Deconstructed cheesecake, deconstructed pavlova. Today we're doing a deconstructed burpee. So, and this will be challenging. So, I might just grab my mat. Put my mat down here. So, what is this, what is our deconstructed burpee? Comprise well five squats, five ground to stands, five push ups, and five vertical jumps. Three sets, make sure you have a rest of about a minute between each one. Uh, hydrate all the time, and here we go five body weight squats to begin with one, two, three, four, five, and that's that five ground to stand. Right down on the ground, like so, and push yourself back up. 
That's one. Two. Three, two to go. Last one. Five push-ups. Here we go. Four, five. Five vertical jumps. Two, three, four, five. And that's it, deconstructed burpee. Three sets of those, five squats, five ground to stand, five push-ups and five vertical jumps. Rest them up about a minute between each one and three sets, see how you go. Okay, balance, I'll just get rid of my mat, put that back over there, and balance. Nice easy one to start with, Make sure you're engaging your heel, your side step, and your toes. Make sure you feel them through your shoes. Up onto one leg, like so. And balance. Make sure you've got a good level of balance. And grow some, grow some branches. I won't hold this for 15 seconds, but that's the challenge. 15 to, 15 to 20 seconds holding. And the other side. Balance, toes, side step, heel, engage. Up onto one foot and hold. 15, 20, or even 30 seconds. Better you get, the longer you do this, the better you'll get. In fact, balance, uh, very easy to train, very easy to lose, unless you've been doing it for six to 12 months, and then you'll start retaining your ability to balance. Okay, next one, around the clock. Make sure you've got your chair right alongside, just in case you need to stabilise yourself. Up onto one leg, and hold, get your level of balance, and let's do AM, 12, 10, sorry, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and up, and hold, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, as long as you like, longer the better, and down. Other side, AM. Level of balance first, toes, side step, heel. Midnight, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Up and hold. See if you can hold it for 30 or 15, 20. Just keep holding. You'll get better at this really quickly. And down. Okay, last one. Deadlift to reach. Okay, this one's the most challenging of the lot so far. So one leg, make sure you've got your balance. And down, leg up to the rear. If it's the right leg, the left arm comes down. Concentrate, Graham and up and down, and back up. This is a dynamic movement, keep moving, other side. And back, other side. And up. One more, each side. Whoops, a day. And up. Last one. And down. That's it. <clears throat> so, now, if you've been through that program, you've done three sets of each, 10 repetitions of each, you're going to be about 45 minutes in now, 40 to 45 minutes in, and you're going to be looking for a, a cool down rest recovery. So, just a couple of stretches to finish up. So, diagonal side bend will be our first one. One palm up, other palm down. As I side bend, my arm's gonna go up on the diagonal. And hold. All of these stretches should be held for about 30 seconds. And back. 
over the other side and bend over and stretch and hold. One more each side. Last one. Oh, lovely. Nice to stretch at the end of a, a strenuous workout. Okay, back and forearms. Hands clasped together in the front and push forward and push forward. And when you've gone as far as you can forward, push a little bit more and feel a nice stretch across the top of your back and shoulders. And hold. 30 seconds ideally. Just hold and invert. And now we've got a nice stretch through the forearms. And relax. Final one, rotational chest opener. Feet about shoulder width apart, hands in front. I'm going to start rotating, opening my chest by moving my right arm out. And as I do that, I'm coming up onto my left toe and opening my chest right up and back. And other side. Around and open that chest right up and pivot up onto your right foot and open that chest right up. Beautiful. And back. Do that a couple of times um, and you'll get a great, uh, great set of chests out of those. So each one do twice, hold for 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, no, more, no less than 20 seconds each and you've got a great uh, stretch routine there to cool down and recover from that workout. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Um, again, looking forward to seeing you all as soon as we can get back into the gym. But until then, stay safe, and uh, Graham signing off for now. Bye.